Ahoy guys and welcome back to I Like Our Watches 2. Now in this video I'm going to show you a couple of incredible and potentially rare Seiko watches that I've bought secondhand from Chrono24. They've both turned up in pretty decent condition but without leather straps although one of them did turn up with a branded buckle. They look incredible. I've given them a little clean and um, yeah they're in good condition but the main reason for me buying these watches is not because they do look awesome but because of the movement inside. It is the 4L25 automatic movement. A fairly rare movement that Seiko made for a few years um, and put into watches like this. They also made a very similar movement the 4L75 that they put into Creedor watches and that's the reason I bought that Creedor watch a little while ago and I have been looking for a Seiko watch with the 4L25 movement inside it to pick up and these two came along and they were pretty reasonably priced. So I made a couple of purchases and before I send them off to Seiko to get some prices for movement services and case refinishing and new straps and boxes and all that sort of stuff, I thought I'd head over to the light box and show you these watches because um, yeah, I am quite interested in this movement. Um, the 4L25 and the 4L75 movements um, were discontinued fairly quickly, which is why these watches are potentially quite rare. But that movement did lead to the production of this newer version, the 6L35 automatic movement, which you'll find in watches like this. The Sara 015, probably my very favourite Seiko ever. This thing is unbelievable, limited to 1,881 units globally and um, if ever you get the opportunity to get one of these I strongly recommend it it is stunning but anyway um yeah these two movements um led to potentially this movement so yeah um let's go and take a look at these watches right here's the first watch I want to show you this is the Sara 003 and this cost me around 500 pounds plus import taxes to bring into the UK from Japan. I have put it on the leather strap that was supplied with my Saab 017 Alpinist. So it is a Seiko branded strap, although there's nothing on the buckle, um, which I hadn't realised. But anyway, um, it is now on a Seiko strap temporarily, um, just for me to show you in this video. A very nice grey dial with some detail towards the centre of the dial. Um, this is not my favourite one. I'm going to save the um, the best one, if you like, um, for last, obviously. Um, but yeah, here is the movement inside the 4L25 movement. If I can get it into focus, hang on. Right, there we go. That's better. Um, you can see at the top there, 4L25. That is uh, the reference for the movement. Made in Japan, 25 joules. Seiko, automatic, water resistant, 10 bar, stainless steel. And then down at the bottom there, we've got um, the reference relating to when this watch was made. So 2006, May. And it was watch number 80 off the production line. And they really didn't make many of these um, early Sara watches with these movements inside them. Um, so yeah, I'm thrilled to have been able to pick up, well, two now. And I think the steel's in pretty decent condition given this watch is, well, 16 years old. It certainly doesn't look like it's been worn too much. A little bit of marring and sort of light scratches and hazing on the steel, um, but the crystal seems to be perfect and the dial um, is in very good condition. Um, really bright hands and applied indices. Yeah, I'm not completely convinced by the way this one looks, um, but it's nice. Um, capped seconds hand at the centre of the dial there, which is um, yeah always a nice feature. Um, right, let's take a look at the other one. Right, and here is the second watch. This is the Sara 011 on the same leather strap. And just look at that incredible champagne sunburst dial. You've got the same sort of wavy circles in the center of the dial but the outside of the dial is a champagne sunburst dial look at that lots more light play on this dial and watch overall i think um yeah i much prefer this one nicer hands nicer applied indices nicer dial nicer case shape um and again in pretty decent condition isn't it um, yeah, a little bit of marring on the stainless steel case, um, fully polished um, and some nice domage and vintage aesthetics to this um, crystal and well watch overall, I think. Um, it just looks incredible. I love this thing. Um, didn't even know this existed until I saw it on Chrono24 and then I realised it had the 4L25 movement inside. A little bit more expensive this one, £600 plus import taxes, um, but I've seen these watches, complete watches with cases or boxes 
in good condition go for significantly more. Um, this series of watches, I should say, this Sara series with the 4L25 movement. So um, sounds like a lot of money, um, but actually not a crazy amount of money for a fairly rare Seiko watch in well, pretty good condition. Let's have a look at the case back, see if we can find the production number somewhere. Yep, there it is down at the bottom. Uh, another 2006 watch, this one from September and watch number 93 off the production line. So again, a very low number watch for that month. Um, yeah, and pretty much the same details on the case back. Um, there's the confirmation at the top there, 4L25. And while I'm zoomed in, I'm gonna give you a nice close up of this dial. Just look at that. Um, yeah, I'm surprised actually, that blue AR coating is quite strong, isn't it? Um, but yeah, just fantastic light play on those applied indices. No loom on the hands on this one, which I prefer. And again, a capped second hand at the center of the dial. Um, yeah, this one looks well, just incredible. Right, well, interestingly enough, um, Seiko called me while I was in the middle of filming this um, very video, and they have confirmed um, that they don't offer a service where they can refinish the cases on these two watches, sadly. Um, they're not considered, I guess, um, expensive enough, I don't know, um, just not the calibre of watch that they um, send off to Japan for refinishing. But they will service these movements, which, again, would need to go to Japan, so... Um, in order to get prices for that, I would literally have to send them over to Japan. Um, so I'll give that some thought. They have found some straps that are suitable for these watches and they can also um, provide me with some boxes. Um, so yeah, we're closer to getting these two watches back to um, complete watches. Um, but yeah, if there's any major updates, um, I'll let you know in another video. Um, guys, let me know what you think of these watches in the comments section. And what should I do with them? Keep them? Sell them? Maybe even give them away. I'm not giving this one away. No chance whatsoever. Maybe the other one, but not this one. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, as always, massive thank you from me to you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. Look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon.